Christmas is only 11 days away, which is not a lot of time to check things off on your Christmas to-do list. You've got to decorate your tree, you've got to go shopping, you have to go and see Santa at the mall. <laughs> However, if you live in Portland, Oregon, you might be a little disappointed if you go to the Pioneer Place shopping centre where they have hired a hipster Santa Claus <laughs> complete with a vintage sweater and a man bun. Look, at that, that's, that's completely real. That is real. Now, I've got to say... I, honestly, I, have, I, I do have a problem with this. I don't want to sound, you know, too traditional, but... You have to dress as Santa if you're Santa. <laughs> Otherwise, my kid's just waiting in line to see an old dude. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, happy winter, kids. Want to sit on a guy? <laughs> like, honestly, have a look at that picture again. Look. It looks... <laughs> it looks like Portland got this Santa at a flea market. <laughs> Like, that Santa looks like he'd deliver presents on December 27th. <laughs> and just say, oh, sorry, I totally spaced. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but Portland isn't the only place that went with a non-traditional Santa this year. Check out this mall in Toronto that's been promoting a hot fashion Santa. Look at him! <laughs> I know! <laughs> now we know who Mariah Carey wrote All I Want For Christmas Is You About. <laughs> But isn't this going too far? I mean, sitting on Santa's lap was already sexually confusing. <laughs> but isn't Santa supposed to be for kids and not parents? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're like, Mom, can I sit on Santa's lap? Mm hmm. After Mummy, darling. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what really bothers me about this is that ultimately he is taking a role away from a big guy. Do you know what I mean? And there are only so many roles that a big guy can play. You've got Santa Claus, mall cops, and Anne Hathaway's effeminate best friend in a movie. <laughs> he said, what? We're gonna get that bitch, man. <laughs> um, but I, but I, well, I know, I'm perfect casting for it. What? Let's go. But, uh, but I worry about how this hot Santa is going to get work after December 25th because a new study has found that being good-looking can hurt a man's career because people in charge of hiring see attractive men as a threat. Yeah. So if you're a man who was recently hired for a new job, congratulations, you're hideous. <laughs> But I really do think there's some truth to this study because I thought about it and I looked around the office and I realised I only hire people who are much uglier than I am. I really do. Honestly, isn't that right, Gavin, on camera one? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. It, no, it's true, isn't it, Marco? It's true. <laughs> right, Trevor? Oh, good, James. Great personalities, they have.